Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Before we get into your reading Aquarius, I want to let you guys know for those of you guys that are interested in a consultation or spell work, we are opening calendar. It's felt like this whole year we've been completely booked. I think we've only opened calendar once or twice this year. Um, so we are opening calendar again if you guys are trying to uh, get the ball rolling, get some spell work done, or get some uh, consultations, some tarot readings. Um, now is the time to reach out, as I don't promise you availability for very long, just putting it out there. Also, you guys definitely don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you guys can get the newest video updates. For some reason, I've been told that uh, it seems like YouTube is shadow, bound, uh, shadow banding me. I'm not sure why. Uh, a lot of the subscribers are not really getting notifications, so don't forget to hit that little bell to get notified when videos do go up. We also have the series of the tarot for those of you guys that are interested in um, learning how to interpret the cards and read the cards. Definitely stay tuned to that. All right, let's get into your reading Aquarius. Without further ado, happy Hallow's Eve to each and every single one of you guys. I wish you guys the very best. Stay safe out there, you guys. All right, spiritual army. I call upon my, I, I call upon my wise and loving spirit guides, my ancestors, archangels. Please step forward. Allow us to be able to receive the messages that are coming through for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus regarding their love life for the remainder of the month of October 2021? What is it that they need to know at this present time? Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, please paint a vivid imagery through the cards of the messages that are coming through for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, let's get into it. So the first card that came out, no surprise here, Aquarius, is the shadow side. This is a representation of the devil uh, in this deck, which also represents Saturn. You may be feeling like you guys have been a bit off lately. Um, your energy has been extremely low for some of you guys, pushing yourself to the point of exhaustion when it comes to uh, career finances and obviously your emotional sector as well. Uh, for others of you, you may be dealing with a Capricorn uh, in regards to matters of the heart. But more than anything, what they're showing here is what they're saying is that you're going to start to feel more like yourself again, Aquarius, in the next coming days. Uh, Saturn just recently went direct and Jupiter. We are also going to be experiencing Mercury going direct this month, October the 18th. So a little bit of more normality is going to be, you know, unfolding, feeling more in control, feeling more confident, that type of energy. I feel that the shadow side is presenting itself because they're telling you if you've been having trouble communicating or expressing your emotions and feelings to your partner or the person of your interest, no, you're not imagining this. It is because the alignment of the planets are not really assisting you right now, uh, but that's quickly going to be dissipating Aquarius, the positive in that, right? <laughs> your next card here is the five of cups. Okay. Okay. So Saturn is obviously your ruling planet, and it also indicates, you know, Saturn is a representation of the father figure. It is karma. It is, you know, father Cronus. Um, so what this represents is I see you guys being overly emotional, perhaps more than usual. There is a feeling of like not being in control of your life, or there is a feeling like everything is just happening all at once. And there is a bit of overwhelmingness. There is a feeling of, you know, when is this finally going to end? When am I going to be able to catch a breath? When am I able to? When am I going to be able to catch a break? Um, and again, I feel that all the planets haven't really been assisting you. It's almost like they are pushing you to the limit. Um, but the positive in that is the moment they go direct, things start to unfold very organically. Whatever it is that you've been working very hard towards is going to be unfolding in a positive way. Yes, even in relationships. If you're currently dealing with a situation where there is some type of separation or some type of break, um, I feel that there's going to be communication that opens up. And what they're telling you here is don't overanalyze or don't put push yourself to the point of, like I said, exhaustion. You do have the five of swords here. So we have two fives. Um, a lot of inner struggles that are going on with you right now. Um, I believe Virgo got, Virgo or Pisces got the same 
um, the two fives. So there is a lot of inner struggle that's going on. There is a part of you that wants to um, pursue the connection or pursue this person that you're interested in. But your ego is also like, well, how many times can do you have to take rejection, Aquarius? It's like this is like your mind over analyzing. There is something about not wanting to budge, whether it's your pride or your ego. What Spirit is telling you is don't hold on very much to your pride and ego because that is not going to take you anywhere. Let me tell you. Now, your next two cards is the Empress and the Lovers. Very interesting pull right here. So we have two major arcanas. The Empress is all about love. It is all about reciprocation. It is all about bountiful type of energy. This is a representation of Venus energy influencing your love life with the lover's card. So I feel that you're being challenged right now, Aquarius, in the aspect of love and romance because there is a, um, there is a habit or there is a cycle that you must bring to an end. There is something when we're talking about love and romance that you have a tendency of doing and it's almost like a never ending cycle. What Spirit is telling you is you need to let go of this. With the Devil card, um, the Shadow side, it is a representation of you should have outgrown this type of habit or it's time for you to let go of that habit. I feel that for a lot of you guys, your love life is highly influenced or affected, I should say, because of your pride or your ego. It's almost like people have to go above and beyond to prove to you. And for some of you guys, it could be because you've been taken for granted. It could be because you've been mistreated in the past. However, there is an important message here for you to understand that those that have done you wrong in the past are not the people that are coming into your life now. So you must release those past experience traumas and to fully commit yourself to embracing new love or to embracing the fact that you deserve to be loved. I hope that makes sense. And finally, the Ace of Cups. My lovelies, this is exactly what I was seeing. What they're telling you here is whatever it is you've been working on the past few years when we're talking about love and romance, Saturn's energy is currently highly influencing you. And it's time that we look at ourselves, highly, like deeply look at ourselves in the mirror and stop self-blaming, right? The people that you have a tendency of either attracting or the people that you choose to give your heart to. Again, people that are coming into your life are not the same people that were from the past. And that's something you need to acknowledge and understand. Moving forward, you deserve to be loved. You deserve to be appreciated in every single aspect. Every single aspect of you, the good, the bad, the worst, and the better. And it's okay to understand that you deserve to be loved. That whatever it is that you give, you are deserving of receiving. It's not just give, give, give. Or it's not just receive, receive, receive. There is something here that you need to embrace to fully open your heart chakra, to fully open yourself to love. Now, for those of you guys that have been dealing with a situation where it's a very toxic situation, it's a coming back, breaking up, coming back, breaking up. Spirit is telling you, stop beating the horse over and over when it's dead already. You cannot salvage a relationship if it's just you doing the work. You cannot fix a person unless they want to fix themselves. Now, Keep in mind, this is a general reading. This could be you, Aquarius, that has a tendency of overtaking, right? Your partner gives, 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 and you keep taking and taking and taking. It's not going to it's not gonna be that way all the time. And the moment you realize that or the moment you start to say, hey, you know what? Maybe it's time that I allow people to get closer to me because I see you pushing them at an arm's length. The moment you allow people to get closer to you, you're allowing, fully allowing and submerging yourself into the energy of love. For some of you guys, you may be fearing love because in the past you've been mistreated, because in the past they've taken you for granted, because in the past they've taken your kind heart or patience. 
And you've gotten to the point where you say no more. You've gotten to the point where you say, I don't, I don't want to be hurt. And if it means that I need to become a rock in order to protect my heart, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, by you embodying this type of energy, you're never going to fully be able to experience love. So what they're telling you here is, if you want to be loved, give love freely. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance. Um, more than anything, what they're saying here is that when we're talking about relationships, when we're talking about love, ultimately, it is for the courageous, not for the weak. Why? Because you are making yourself accessible to being hurt. But the beauty in it is that you're giving yourself 100% wholeheartedly that that's what makes it authentic. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.